It's Robert Klein, C-L-I-N-E, uh, Lieutenant PIO, Bisbee Fire Department. Okay, so this Lachlan Fire, um, when did it start and what is the um, acreage looking at this morning? So the first calls came in about 9.40 p.m. last night, <clears throat> and then the early estimates for the fire right now are about 75 to 100 acres, and we expect that number to fluctuate today just depending on how the weather. And we heard that it is now a tape to the incident. What exactly does that mean? What crews are on scene? Um, and what is your plan kind of for the rest of the day? So right now we still have local assets from the Bisbee Fire Department in place. State and federal resources showed up um, throughout the night and they're continuing to come in. A type three incident just makes it a little bit on the larger scale. And then once we turn it, it's been turned over to the state and feds. And then it just allows more resources and air assets to be utilized for the fire. Okay, that was what I was gonna ask. So are you going to be using um, air tankers as well? It is my understanding that they've ordered air resources. I do not know exactly what's going to be sent to us, but we expect something here shortly, hopefully within the next few hours. Uh, right now we know that I think Lachlan Avenue and Woodland Creek have been evacuated. Do you know any other areas that kind of um, are on the set? We know Star, I think Star Boulevard or something like that is also on the set status. Mm, so as of right now, um, Lachlan Avenue and Wood Canyon have been given the go and then Star Avenue is currently in the set, and then uh, Juniper Flats area has been uh, given the, the set status as well. Okay, um, any advice for just people living in this area, uh, especially throughout the day as this fire um, can possibly continues to grow? So we just want to reassure um, all of our residents and the people passing by that you know, numerous resources are here, more are coming, and that we've got a good handle on it, and we're gonna to continue to monitor it throughout the day. Um, evacuees being asked to go to St. Patrick's Church still? Yes, St. Patrick's Church is open and the Red Cross is on site with a disaster relief um, mobile unit. Any um, homes or buildings that are in danger right now? No, nothing at this time. Nothing is in immediate danger. Okay, anything else that you think I missed? You yes, I have a question. Second fire within two weeks. Concerns? Um, a lot of concerns, yes. So. Um, the weather is a big factor in everything, the wind and then the high heat. And then, yes, uh, since March, we have had, this now makes the fifth fire, so that is a concern. Um, it's currently under investigation, and it will remain that way until uh, we can get some further information. And we can assume it's man-made since we've had no, in some form of man-made since we haven't had any weather? It appears to be human-caused at this time, but uh, we can't confirm it until we get a little more, a uh, better look of it up there. Thank you.